Ollie, first and foremost, let's talk about today and you back on the field. For, that, that was the biggest thing for you, wasn't it, personally? Yeah, it felt like ages since I played. It was a very frustrating season coming in out of the squad, in out of training, but it was good to get, off, uh, get on the pitch and play a good amount of time with the boys. And I'm excited to, to stay fit. I came off with a little HIA, but passed it, so I'm all good looking for the rest of the season. Ricky said the only thing you could do was go out and win today. You've given yourself every chance of getting into that last four now. Yeah, it was a very mature performance from young boys and old. Um, Bristol through the, the, through the kitchen sink at us, they had their full star and team. We came out with a win, great performance. Um, a good mix of youth and experience there. And you've been around the club now. This, this youth that comes through, some of it's unbelievable talent, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a wide catchment. Um, we, we make the most of the, out of the young boys. We put them in the deep end and it, you know, that's the best way to treat them. Yeah? Treat them as men, they, they act like it. And we've seen the strength of the squad. Different 15 last week, different 15 this week. All of you pulling in the same direction. Though. Yeah, it's a winning culture um, from you know stars in England all the way down to the boys just starting. Uh, we're all on board in the same thing, all on, all on board in the same system. We're going to the right direction. Obviously, moving forward, good news tonight that uh, you've signed a new two-year deal. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a chief for a while. Um, what was the, th the thinking behind that? You obviously you wanted to stay. It's a great club to be at. Yeah, I mean, we're the best team in England at the moment. Um, we have been in the last few years. I like competing. I want to win. I want to put myself in the best uh, position to do that. Um, made so many good friends here, and you know, it was, it was a decision which uh, didn't really have any options in the end. I was going to say, a few years ago when you were coming from Bath, it was all a new experience, but you're very much a chief now, and you seem to have adapted so well to life in, in Devon. Yeah, I, get, I got given a new chance, a new opportunity, and I took it with both hands, I really enjoyed it. Um, you get, it was nice coming in for, to a level playing field, and you know, I really thrived and enjoyed all the rugby I played here. And when you're a part of this back division, you've got plenty of competition in, in your position. Yeah. Drives yeah, you on. I've, yeah, I've got, I've got boys, uh, international experience, and you've got boys like um, Tom Flatty and James Shaw, who's always pushing and always working hard. So it's, it's tough every year. There's boys coming through from under you, and there's boys, there's boys um, in and around the international squad, but I'm excited about the competition. Do you take a bit of confidence yourself that Rob wants you to hang around the place, that you know you know where you're going to be for the next two years at least? Yeah, he want, you know, he, want, he wants uh, players who want to compete for those positions, and equally, I want the same. You know, I want to, I want to compete with the boys and, and, and go for some time. And continuity is a big thing at any club. You know, there's not going to be a huge amount of shake-ups this year. The squad is going to be pretty similar. Yeah, we're, we're a winning team. We're a winning squad. We know what it takes to get victories. Um, the longer we play together, the more experience we'll have. Um, going into finals, going into competitions. So, I mean, it's all looking good from here. And is there more to come from Hollywood, though? More to come. Brilliant. Thanks, mm -hmm. mate.